Canals need water. But what happens when there's too much of it? 200 years ago, the canal engineer, Thomas Dadford Jr., designed an ingenious solution at 14 locks. And it's all about how to save the water. Dadford's plan involved a series of weirs, pounds and ponds. Think of a pound as any stretch of water between lock gates that can be accessed by a boat. A pond is just for storing water. Too much water in one pound or pond can be diverted down a weir to a lower pound or pond. Today, thanks to the recent restoration project, we can see Thomas Danford's plan in action once again. It's all very noisy and very exciting to watch. This is Lock 18 Pound. It's brimming with water. Just over two years ago, you would have found it hard to imagine it was canal at all because it was overgrown with trees and brambles. A spill weir is a little like an overflow in a bath. And after some very heavy rainfall, this spill weir is in full flow. But of course, it's not just about what to do with too much water from rainfall. Every time a lock is used to lower a boat, a lot of water is used. It is very important that as much water as possible is saved and not lost from the system. Thomas Dadford Jr.'s clever design of weirs, pounds and ponds did just that. It saved the water and even after 200 years it's still fascinating to observe.